Welcome back to Squawk Box. A House subcommittee will hold a hearing this morning looking into what's causing a rash of lung illnesses associated with using e-cigarettes. Joining us right now is Raja Krishnamurthy. He is the chairman of uh, that committee. And um, we're thrilled to have you here to try to understand uh, what most of us don't, which is we've all read the headlines, but uh, uh, so many of us, including myself, don't understand what has really happened even over these last several weeks here. Um, what, do, what do you know and what are you looking to find out? Well, thank you so much for your attention to this issue. Uh, today we're having a hearing uh, where uh, officials from the Centers for Disease Control are coming in to talk about what is causing these 530 uh, mystery respiratory illnesses um, and eight deaths. Now, a couple statistics that your viewers should know. One is that the average age of these uh, victims is 19. Um, right now, we have a national vaping epidemic among youth. 28% um, of high schoolers are vaping, and 5% of middle schoolers are vaping. And as a parent of both a high schooler and a middle schooler, it's personally distressing. How bipartisan do you think this issue is? Meaning, do you think we're going to see real regulation as a function of what's happening here? Yes, um, I'm heartened that the Trump administration, um, inciting our investigation in part, um, issued a couple new regulations that are very important. The first is cracking down on marketing of e-cigarettes. Um, and then secondly, uh, proposing to ban all flavored e-cigarettes. Right. Um, Secretary Azar said that they're going to put out the regulations expeditiously. I'm very glad about that. That's a positive step in the right direction. Should that include menthol? I absolutely think it should include mint and menthol. Thank you for bringing that up. The secretary said that they're going to make one exception. That's for tobacco-flavored right. vapes. But mint, you have to understand, is like one of the most you know, popular flavors for children. There's a reason why mint is in our children's toothpaste. It's very appealing to children. So if we had this conversation two years from now, what, what do you think the e-cigarette market will look like? How regulated will it be? How different will it be? Um, well, uh, I'm wearing a purple ribbon today. This is a bipartisan uh, effort to shine a light on substance use disorders and recovery. We don't want in two years to say that uh, e-cigarettes was the next substance use disorder um, for millions of children. So in two years, what we need to do or what we need to see is we need to see regulations banning flavored e-cigarettes and maybe laws doing the same. We need to regulate the nicotine levels in these mm -hmm. e-cigarettes. One thing that you should know is that one jewel pod contains more nicotine than in one pack of combustible cigarettes. And a jewel pod can be smoked in as little as 20 minutes. Um, and so this is very serious. We also need a public health campaign to educate youth and their parents and their families about how to prevent people from taking up vaping as youth. Okay. Uh, Congressman, we have to leave the conversation there. We wish you luck. Yes, sir.